Hey everyone, welcome back to the blog. Today we're gonna to show how to use math formulas in OneNote. I'm sitting at a conference and taking notes on the keynote speaker, Paul Marciso, and he's noting some important numbers that I wanna do some quick math while he's still talking. And I can do that right here within my notepad without having to open another application. So I'm gonna click in the notepad and start crunching some quick numbers. So he notes that I need 360 blog posts per year to keep a solid following. So I'm just going to do some quick numbers to figure out how many does that mean I have to write per week. Since there's 52 weeks in a year, I'll do divided by 52. And to get my answer in one note, all I have to do is press the equal sign and then enter. And then my answer populates. Now if I wanted to figure out how many posts do I have to write per day, I'll do that calculation right now. I'll click the equal sign and I can also click the space bar to get my answer. Pressing enter will bring me down to the next line, but the space bar will keep me on the same line like so. All right, so I have to write 1.3 blog posts per day to keep up with Paul's recommendations. Now let's say I wanted to check my math and make sure I did everything right. Now I'll show you how to multiply in one note. We'll use the star key to signify multiply. And let's see if our answer comes out to be 360. Just about. Those are the quick calculations you can make. If you wanted to add a few more complicated calculations, you can go to the insert tab up here and check out the equation drop down or the symbol drop down. If you have calculations that include pi symbol, you can select that here. From the equation drop down, you have a lot of formulas you can work with, depending on how complicated your math might get or how simple it might be, like we did here. Hope you found this OneNote tip helpful. Thanks for joining us again, and we'll see you next time.